Okay, finally going into a deep dive of my morning skincare routine. I have been trying to film this for the past week. Our mornings have been absolutely crazy running around. The kids are always screaming in the background. So I finally have a quiet minute, but I've already done my skincare. So I'm sorry, I'm not actually doing it, but I'm gonna go through it with you. And just like I said on my nighttime skin, nighttime skin routine, um, this is what works for me. I have like an advanced skincare user. Um, so just keep that in mind. Skincare, very personal for everyone. This is what I do. Okay, so first things first, I cleanse in the morning. Um, I hear everybody go back and forth on whether you should cleanse in the morning. I do, it works for me, so this is what I'm doing. Um, my CeraVe Hydrating <clears throat> Cream to Foam Cleanser has been my OG great product for a long, long time. But I do wanna say that I just got this um, non-drying glycerin cleanser from Prequil and I'm very impressed. So I have been using this the last like four days and I'm gonna keep using it. Very impressed with, um, while it's really hydrating, it makes my skin feel clean. Where other hydrating cleansers don't give me that feeling, so impressed with this. Okay, next, while my skin is still damp after I cleanse, I'm going in with my snail mucin. I just love it. I just, I just love it. Okay, and then I also mentioned this in my nighttime, nighttime, why am I having such a hard time saying that word? Nighttime skincare routine, that after my snail mucin, I put on a layer of the Super Saturated by Experiment. This is duplicative. This not, no, you do not need to do both steps by any means, but I have very dry skin. And this product has changed that drastically. And um, I love it. Once again, this is what works for me. For other people, that's gonna be way too much. So, um, but if you do have really dry skin, you seriously need to look into this. Next up is vitamin C. This one is the Murad uh, Vita C Glycolic Serum. This one is really nice. Um, I used it in the past, um, just picked up another one, started using it again. Um, one thing about vitamin C serums, I was just talking to another follower about this, another friend. Um, vitamin C serums, overall when you're looking at them, you really wanna go for an airless pump delivery method. Um, vitamin C formulas can oxidize very quickly. So if your bottle is clear, okay, and you can see the liquid in there, um, or if it's a dropper system, like one of those very popular, really expensive vitamin C serums, um, you are opening up the lid and it, exposing the product to oxygen, light, all of those things, and it can um, make the product oxidize faster and then it's not gonna work. So keep that in mind overall. I like this one by Mirad. I also was very impressed by the um, Golden Hour uh, vitamin C serum from Educated Mess. Oh, and I should also say when layering your products or you're wondering how you should be applying your products, a great general rule to follow is to layer, start with your thinnest formula and you work your way up to the thickest formula. Okay, so next I put on my Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This has 5% niacinamide in it and I really like it. I feel like it's been keeping my skin looking nice and bright. Also, I should say that I just let the products absorb for a few minutes in between the layers. Okay, next would be a moisturizer. I have a lot of moisturizers that I use and love. So whatever moisturizer works for you, but I really like this Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream from Versed. Um, really lightweight texture, but does a does a really good job, even though it's lightweight and not super thick. Um, I also have the Anua Intense Calming Cream. I tend to use this one at night, not really during the day, unless my skin is feeling really angry and irritated. I might go, th might go for a thicker moisturizer. Okay, and then last but not least, and I mean this is literally the most important part of my morning skincare routine, is SPF. 
when we are talking about skincare, taking care of our skin every day, the most important thing you can do is protect your skin from UV rays and those signs of photo aging and like accelerating that process. We don't need to do that. So we're gonna wear sunscreen every day, face, neck, chest, hands. So um, I have a lot of sunscreen. I love trying new sunscreen. It's, I don't know, I have an issue. <laughs> Um, this is a new addition for me. This is the Hilo, Hilo, oh my gosh, Sika Water Fit Sun Serum by Skin1004. Phenomenal. One thing that I will say is Korean, Korean SPF formulas are, I've posted about this before, they are elite. Okay, I'm sorry, they just are. They are elite. Um, the Beauty of Joseon, I have two by Beauty of Joseon. The um, Relief Sun, um, this is just their Relief Sun screen. Oh my God, I'll get there. Um, great product, I think good for every type of skin type. Okay, Beauty of Joseon, this is their Gensine Moist Sun Serum. That is for dry skin types, I would say, because it leaves you like very moist looking. Um, and then another great one that I think would be good for everyone slash maybe more on like the normal to like combo skin is the, um, this is the Birch, oh my gosh, where's my box? It's the Birch Water, I'll, I'll tag it in this video, um, but it is moisturizing and lightweight, amazing, oh my god, all of these. Korean, skin, Korean sunscreens are phenomenal. I'll tag some in this um, video for you, um, but make sure, like I said, you're using enough to coat your face, your neck, your chest, and the back of your hands. So that's it. That's my morning skincare routine. I'm so sorry this is such a long video, but anyway, that's how I am. Okay, bye.